Tanjung Wu River Cruise, July 2020. We took the dinghies the 11 kilometres from Tanjung to a hole in the wall. And here's where we stopped uh, for overnight in the, in the yachts. So we left Tanjung and travelled about three kilometres and stayed overnight on the first night. Uh, we took the dinghy over to that pontoon jetty and walked across that open area in behind the trees there and found a little hotel Hilton tin roof shack with um, a well and one of the gentlemen had a bath shower. Walking through this field that the low lying grass is not grass it's some kind of weed and it gave me an, a rash and everybody else didn't get a rash. So we walked through the open area and, through, and then through those trees and found something I didn't expect. Some kind of gazebo or barbecue area. And I've been told that the hotel that brings the guests over and feeds them on those seats. So then I had to go and backtrack and find my wife, don't know what she was doing. Probably fiddling with a mobile phone, taking photographs. And then she caught up and we walked through a number of these um, walkways within the trees and came across this little lean-to, I suppose you'd call it a lean-to, another area where they take the tourists from the hotel. As I said earlier, one of the um, yachtsmen took a shower from the well that's in the centre of that little building. We stayed overnight and the next morning We travelled further down the river to try and find a nice comfortable spot to stay at the night. The tide has just turned and we're on an ebb tide at the moment. And um, we'll be moving down to what they call Eagle Viewing Point, which is down that way, um, about an hour. And we'll follow these y yachts down because the little blue yacht, he has the experience in this river. So we'll stick to the experience. After the heavy rains last night, the water was running off the rocks and the two other yachts collected some water. We got enough on board to fill our buckets and our tanks collected about 140 litres. My wife stood on the bow and watched for any debris and logs and timber that we could have run over in the river. And uh, initially we caught up to these two other yachts, but then they got away from us again. Because after all, we only travel at about three and a half knots and they can go faster. So on the way down the river there was a number of little buildings and one of them looked like a sort of a prayer room or a platform for all people to stop and pray. And you can see the little roof on top of it indicating a mosque. Intriguing. So we stopped again for the night at the river junction 
and you'll see on this map down at the blue dot is where we stopped and we took the dinghies the next day for the dinghy cruise. We've anchored in the middle of the delta of the river. We're a little bit close to him, but because we're in the centre, there doesn't appear to be much movement at the moment. I'll move it if I have to. It was so quiet and peaceful that, that uh, even recording on the video made it sound like you're recording in a recording studio. Interesting. You'll notice a couple of tourist boats, but there's no birds around. And they've got a unique way of attracting birds. I'll explain that technique a little bit later in the video. My wife took this superb photograph on an iPhone of the sunset. So, two or three times a day from what I worked out, the tourist boats come along and the tourists feed the birds. So what the tourist boat operators do is raise their engines and rev them up a little bit and the birds come along and, and get fed. up their engines and rev the engines and that attracts the birds and then what they do is they throw out breadcrumbs and the birds dive down and feed off the breadcrumbs that are floating in the water so it was time to head down the river to the hole in the wall and um, we took two dinghies down my wife and I in one, and we followed the other crew. And they had a bigger engine, a 15 horsepower engine, and I only have a 6 horsepower engine. Sometimes my wife has a bad habit of panning the camera too quickly and you hardly get any time to see what's being recorded. Here uh, the monkeys lined, along, lined up in the trees along the riverbank and uh, there's a bit of a close up of two there's a lot more. When we're in Greece the tour bus driver stopped the bus and we went and looked over the Corinth Channel and uh, this reminds me of that channel. I don't know why, it just provokes a memory of um, the Corinth Channel. It was definitely an experience navigating through this narrow uh, valley quite enjoyable. So we watched out for the birds and listened to the birds in the trees and other noises. Noises that you could hear over the engine. So we arrived at the, the stretch of water that um, the restaurants and boats are in, in um, the hole in the wall and that's it's been given because it's a, a 
safe place to anchor during very, very bad weather. And it's used by a lot of boats to protect themselves from the southwest monsoon season. And with the COVID-19 lockdown, a lot of yacht owners can't get back to their yachts. So you'll see a number of yachts here that have probably got owners that are overseas and, are, and can't wait to get back without going through the quarantine period. A lot of them are still thinking that they can't fly into Malaysia. I'm not sure whether that's true or not. But uh, I know that if you do fly out of Malaysia, you can't get back in without good reason. So that's probably what they're worried about. We stopped for a drink at Amin Floating Restaurant. And this is the restaurant that you pay a fee and they'll send somebody out to clean the yachts and you pay a fee for the moorings as well and they look after the yachts. So my wife took some video of the fish tanks at a wind floating restaurant and at least they spelled restaurant the way in English. And uh, some of the tanks had few fish in them and others had a lot of fish in them and the balance wasn't quite right. You've got the big fish all crowded into one and the little fish, not too many of them. I don't know what sort of fish these are but they're huge. video was produced by myself and this is the end of another exciting video of Tanjung Roo River Cruise July 2020